Once upon a time, there was a family who lived in a small village on the outskirts of a dense forest. The family consisted of a mother, father, and their young daughter, who was the light of their lives. However, their happiness was short-lived when one day, their daughter fell ill with a mysterious sickness that left the village doctors puzzled. As days turned into weeks, the girl's condition worsened, and her parents were at their wit's end, unable to find a cure. That's when a wise old woman from the village came to their rescue, claiming that the girl was under the spell of a wicked witch who lived deep inside the forest. The family was horrified, but desperate to save their daughter, they decided to seek out the witch and plead for her to break the curse. They journeyed deep into the forest, navigating through treacherous terrain, until they stumbled upon a small cottage hidden amidst the trees. As they approached the cottage, the door creaked open, revealing a haggard old woman who glared at them with piercing eyes. The parents trembled with fear, but the old woman agreed to help them on one condition. They had to bring her a rare flower that grew on the other side of the forest. Desperate to save their daughter, the parents set off once again, braving dangerous beasts and treacherous terrain to find the flower. Eventually they succeeded, and with the flower in hand, they returned to the witch's cottage. The witch took the flower and chanted an incantation, and to the amazement of the family, the spell was broken, and their daughter was returned to them, healthy and happy. However, the witch warned them that the curse could return at any time, and they must always be vigilant. The family returned home, grateful for their daughter's recovery, but haunted by the memory of the curse. They never forgot the terror of the witch's curse and lived in fear of it returning, always looking over their shoulder and never truly at peace. Years went by, and their daughter grew up to be a beautiful young woman. But the memory of the curse never left her. She lived her life in fear, always looking for signs that the curse had returned, until one day she was consumed by her fear and took her own life. The family was devastated, and the village mourned the loss of such a young and promising life. They cursed the witch for bringing such sorrow and heartbreak into their lives, and never ventured into the forest again, fearful of what may lie within.' 